into the vertical plank. Hey Jeff. What are we doing today, hey, Steve? How's it going? What are we doing for our both video no. and and regular podcast today, Steve? We're counting the hours until we can get a vaccine and not have to be in our rooms anymore. Okay, we have that. We definitely have that. But what are we doing for our pot for our video and regular podcast today? I'm Steve? Go through a couple Atari games and play them too on the video uh, multiplayer. So we we're going to play uh, a couple old Atari coin ops via. Um, uh, Atari Vault from Steam, and we're gonna laugh at each other because we're really bad at them. Yeah, we're really bad at the games. This is season four, episode one, Into the Vertical Blank, Generation Atari, Atari Coin Ops, Avalanche, That's right. and Fire Truck. So, you know, one of Atari's earliest coin ops from 1978 was Avalanche, programmed by Dennis Coble and released in April of that year. Avalanche was a sort of reverse breakout in which rocks fell from the top of the screen and had to be caught by the player. So um, while Kaboom was not a coin-op conversion, it is kind of a version of this game. So Kaboom for the VCS. Um, coin, coin Connection, Atari's uh, coin-op publication, said this about Avalanche. It said, Avalanche is an exciting new one or two player video game from Atari. It captures the skill and challenge features of Breakout and adds the thrilling play action of catching the falling rocks in an avalanche, which of course, nobody on earth ever wanted to catch falling rocks in an avalanche, but whatever. Um, well, um, the, the guys, Marty, Kurt and Marty, who, and uh, Kurt, rest in peace, who uh, wrote Atari Business is Fun, had this to say about Avalanche. Instead of the player paddle hitting the ball up to the bricks at the top of the screen, the player has several rows of paddles to catch the falling rocks that drop down the screen towards the player. Each time a rock is missed, the player loses a row of paddles. Several years later in 1981, former Atari employee Larry Kaplan would copy and expand the game for Activision's Kaboom for the Atari VCA. And then through my research, I found one other thing in 1980, Dennis Coble released an Atari 8-bit computer version in full color through the Atari Program Exchange. There is an uncredited review on the back of Avalanche that is pretty funny. It's, it's on the <laughs> box. I think it oh, was written by... Hold on, I'll read it. Okay, I think it was written by Dennis written, himself. Avalanche makes great use of the Atari computer's colors, graphics, and sound. Pattern after the Atari arcade game of the same name, the game really appeals to all ages. It's simple enough for young players, but it challenges experienced players. It's not meant to be a game of strategy, but rather a game demanding good motor skills. Your TV picture must be centered to accommodate the playing field. <laughs> <laughs> the user manual is very good. Probably written by the, 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 the sorry, this probably is, written by the guy who wrote the user right, manual. Right, and this is on the back of the user <laughs> manual. Anyway, I have the PDF that I, I got from Atari Mania. So that's Avalanche, and especially Kaboom. If people, if people are more, um, are, and we're going to play it, if people are more familiar. So with let's, it. yeah, let's let's go and try it now. I'm going to all boot up um, Atari Vault. Okay. So Atari Vault starts up. Uh, this is the last game we played together. Atari Vault was real sports baseball. But let's go back so, to the arcade. So we're going to Avalanche. I don't think that's I don't think that's multiplayer, right? So um, or um, maybe. It might not be. It might just be taking turns. Even if it's taking turns, we can do that. So let's go to it. So there's a lot of games in a tar vault, but we're going to look for Avalanche. You can always go to multiplayer and then choose. Uh, okay. So we go to host, and there is, yeah, Avalanche is multiplayer right there. So I go to match, and then you go try to find it. <laughs> I found it. All right, except. There's Avalanche. Now, how do we get two players in this game? Just a sec. Hold on. I s okay. Hold on. Oh, and this color here too. So, um, so we got to resume. How do we play two players? I don't know. What are the controls? Um, oh, I have, I have, um, I have, I'm, I'm controlling I'm player it. one. I'm controlling. Oh no, you are. Yes, you are. I'm controlling it. Okay, go for it. So I didn't realize there I were like five the... paddles there. Yeah, you get five. 
I don't know what that sounds like. It sounds like a jet sticking off or something. It's an avalanche, Jeff. It's, 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 I think it's the avalanche coming. Oh, down. you think so? Yeah. Oh, maybe it, it is. pretty well with the mouse and the tire ball, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I wonder why you got to be first. Because I was hosting the game. I don't know. Oh, I, did, I missed one. So those are color bands up there oh, on the top. See. I mean, they're oh, insulated here. But the color bands, then the rocks always drop in one color because this is the one. Uh, right, right. Your turn, I think. Okay. You know what? Um, after this, we can we can quickly test out the Atari 800 version. Um, after like we do, yeah. After we do the um, fire truck. easy at the beginning and then it gets really hard. But they make it difficult. They can. Using the mouse is okay for this. It's better with a paddle, for sure. But a tar vault won't let me use Stell Adapter, so it yeah, just makes no, it... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a well, sad situation. How did I lose one of my buckets? It, it's just, it's, um, they want you to lose your quarter. This is, so they make it smaller on you. It's my turn. Now. Go ahead, player one. Ready, player one. All right, sorry about that. Yeah. You need to apologize again for that. <laughs> What's that? You need to apologize again. Oh, I apologize a second time for that. Yes. Yeah, I apologize. All right, here we okay, go. so I need to, for, uh, for the audio podcast, we're going to cut out a lot of this. Did you but... have to hit the serve button to make it go? No, it just goes. I think because yeah. they didn't want. They, they didn't want a quarter to be sitting there doing nothing. So the uh, No, the other podcast, yeah, you definitely should cut some of those out. This is, oh, yeah, this is just exciting. us playing um, Avalanche. And, um, so while Steve's playing, I'll describe a little bit of Avalanche. There, Oh, the game's over. There's a bunch of colored rocks at the top, and you can play two-player, um, and um, they drop down the screen. That's about it. Um, the next game is Fire Truck. And Fire Truck is a uh, scrolling sort of driving game where one person controls the front of the fire truck and one, one person controls the back of the fire truck, like a hook and, like a hook and ladder fire truck. And soon after uh, Avalanche was released in June of 1978, Atari released Fire Truck. Fire Truck is one of the first cooperative multiplayer coin ops. Yes, it is. And we will show that very soon. One or two players would guide a hook and ladder fire truck around a city. The game cabinet consists of a seat for the driver with a steering wheel for the cabinet and a platform directly behind the seat with another steering wheel used for the second player to control the ladder portion of the fire truck. It was crazy, but these are the types of things you'd see in the arcade all the time back then. But this one always stood out to me because we loved fire trucks because oh, we oh, loved yeah. the show Emergency. Um, fire truck was a follow-up to Superbug. The idea was to create a two-player cooperative driving game in Fire Truck. One player drove the front of the truck, and the other player drove the rear. Now that's a quote. But I don't know where it came from. It might be Howard Delman. Um, yeah, it probably is because it probably got edited. Okay, a single-player version of the game with named Smokey Joe was also released. Um, and then Frank Balu's Atari marketing executive said about Smokey Joe, because Smokey Joe requires less space, it can be placed in many of the smaller game centers and street locations and attract players, just as Fire Truck does in places where there's more space available. So basically they're saying, basically from this, arcade operators were complaining about Fire Truck being too big, so they made a small one. From my research, I found one interesting quote from Atari Business Fun, um, and it was, Avalanche was followed by the impressive Fire Truck demonstrating Atari's commitment to innovation by being the very first video game to feature cooperative play. And as the very first video game to feature cooperative play, we're going to cooperatively play it right now. And before now. we get there, I want to, before we get to the game, I just want to talk, these are, explain, um, these are two games that we actually played in the arcade. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so, so as this, as this season unravels, these are probably the first two games we ever played in the arcade. I'm thinking because, you know, besides watching dad play um, the Wild West game, Gunman, uh, Wild, Wild Gunman, uh, we really didn't play in the arcade until sometime in 78 when after AYSO, we were able to actually go to the, the Castle Park and then 
play Space Invaders and other games. But this is probably, as I think, the first game I ever played in an arcade, or at least some of the first Atari games we ever played in the arcade. So I remember Firestruck being at the Aladdin's Castle in Del Amo Mall. And that was oh, a place really? where we weren't allowed to go in, to be honest, but, uh, but Firetruck was on the outskirts of the arcade and we could step on that red carpet and mom and dad would let us play that one game. And then, That's right. and then Avalanche was actually stayed at the front of Castle Park for many years along with Breakout. They had these two old Atari games they kept there. And so I, my first time playing Avalanche was at the Castle Park Arcade in Redondo Beach. It doesn't exist anymore. And um, it's the same one from the Chips episode from last year. Oh, yeah. And Avalanche and Breakout were right next to one another. And they were old then. But, we, but I still like playing them, putting a quarter in and playing them. Yeah, they, they were. I know we played the, I know I played Fire Truck near to the time that it came, came out, um, probably 78 or 79 something like that um avalanche i played as well once it was so hard i remember it being really hard in the arcade too yeah they um, were they really was a quarter gobbler yeah so let's let me share the screen again with audio Optimize. now fire truck may be cooperative but it's really hard <laughs> oh yeah it's, it, it, it's, it, it's it, yeah you're right it may be cooperative but it's kind of a pain in the ass it is definitely Wait, a must have passed it up. Hold on, Domino's Fire Truck. Okay, multiplayer, host, match, and I'm waiting for you to show up. Let me go to my multiplayer, and there's Fire Truck joining that- the game. All right, so here we go. I can't remember how we started this. Um, I think I might have- both start. Oh, okay. So I, my might be the front. I don't know which one up on the front or the back. Oh, wait, you need. I think I need a. Uh, I think I need a joystick for this. Oh, I'm I'm using the um, the arrow um, keys. I don't have front. a joystick plugged in for this. Dump, like a, like a moron. Um, I'm pre- I'm pretty sure I'm the front. And you're the okay, back. you are because I'm swinging the back. Wow. Sorry about that. Can you please not hit the side of the road. Well, I was trying to. It's hard to know which way to swing it. To be honest with you. Okay, let's try to get to this fire. I don't know if you ever get to the fire. I'd be fascinated if you know if you ever make it anywhere. It's a little bit easier to to control it with a steering wheel when you're in the arcade. You notice that this has a background, pl- looping background of the of the siren, like avalanche had that looping background of the of the avalanche. Oh, you're right. They have a looping, like a looping uh, sound. Yeah. Obviously, um, this isn't easy to control the keyboard. This is and and um, the first scrolling driving game they made was Superbug, and um, I did do I based. My uh, my Flash Action Script Three scrolling engine off of Superbug. That's I right. wish I could have done this one too, but I never got to that point. Well, there we go. Game over. An yeah. exciting game of Fire Truck. It was an exciting game I think of Fire Truck. Probably that's as far as we got the first time we played too. Probably. Um, um, I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, share with audio, and I'm going to bring up the Atari 800 version of Avalanche. Okay, good. So I, I think, honestly, I think Atari Vault is sort of a lost gem. It is. It is. Atari Vault Atari is a lost gem. Made. You know, like it, it, you can play multiplayer Atari games and a lot of games that were never multiplayer to begin with. I mean, never, you know, obviously multiplayer of the internet. And there's a ton that you can play. And I think it's a really cool thing. I, I, I um, you know, maybe it's just me, but I, I think that they've, you know, they really did a good job with that. Um, and you can play it on the Atari VCS. I don't know how multiplayer works on the Atari VCS. I'm going to guess it works the same. Um, we played the, a couple multiplayer Atari VCS, VCS games on it. No, but I mean on the Atari VCS. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're on a, the VCS yeah. 800, their new released console that includes Atari Vault. What can you see, Steve? Can you see Avalanche? Uh, I see Avalanche, Jeff. Yeah. Okay, so see. let me see Atari if I'm... Atari ca- version of Avalanche. I do. I'm, I'm playing it in emulation. I make, Hopefully, I'm capturing the mouse is what i got to make sure I'm doing. Input. I'm seeing... Paddle. Port 1. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. Ah, it's going to work. All right. 
I think. Yeah, okay. So they didn't have as much of vertical real estate. So did you say that Dennis Coble wrote this one as well? Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Cool. He wrote this too. And it, 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 because he, it was, I don't know when he wrote it. I think it was, I think I said it came out in 80. I have to check the Atari um, Mania page. But, um, but yeah, it's one of the, one of the first APX games that, that um, was an Atari coin off. I think the only two APX games that Atari coin were this and Kangaroo, actually. I don't know. I, oh, this is on player two. So yeah, it needs not play. I know. Somehow I, I made have two players. You couldn't play anyway because um because of uh, oh okay. oh no I know I couldn't play. because we can't do multiplayer. Unless we had to on a Fu Fuji it, net. Ex if there's ever a virtual Fuji net, we could probably do this on Fuji net. If there's a multiplayer version, I mean, but yeah, it'd be there's some a crazy setup of cameras and stuff to get the Fuji net going. But yeah, I'll let this gun go and I'll try to see if I. Can. A score so far you can get. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that was the other player. Okay, this is me. So now I gotta. All right. I can't believe. Hold on. No, wait. Let me see. 77 coin, coin ops. Yeah. Beyond racing games, Atari was trying to design a multitude of other games based on concepts that could not have been easily created in pure TTL logic. That's because um, people were ripping them off. Right. They could they could see the TTL logic on the board and just copy it. Domino was designed by Dennis Koble, by the way, released in January, took the yeah. concept of Grumman's blockade coin op and added a Domino's theme. So blockade is must be the uh, the precursor and also surround, basically right. surround. <laughs> Okay. For the most part, the coin ops of 1977 took few chances and built on already established concepts. Racing contests continued to fill much of Atari's 77 coin op lineup. Atari released Drag Race, um, which allowed one or two players to compete in side in a side view drag race. Oh, is, is that on here? Because we should we should check that out. I don't think um, next we could do it next time. Well, next time complete, we get around. Sure. Sure. Complete with detailed animated cars. September saw the release of Superbug, designed by Howard Delman, a top-down multi-directional scrolling game. And this is what Howard Delman said about Superbug. Superbug was my first coin-operated video game. It presented a top-down view of a city street. Its original name was City Driver. The player had a fixed amount of time to drive his bright yellow bug as far as he could go. Obviously, the idea was to drive as fast as possible. This idea, this was made difficult by sudden turns on the road, surprise slicks, sand traps, and parked cars. And of course, Fire Truck is obviously a rebranded Superbug where you've got two two parts of the right um, exactly. fire truck in the Superbug. Um, so I'm sure it's really hard, but it's very similar to what we just saw. It's easier though, because you don't have me sw like swinging the back of the superbug into into the. Um... Well, there's definitely a way to change gears, but I don't know what it is. Shift, maybe. I'm not sure. And you, basically, in this one, you just drive until your fuel's out, and they say how far you got. That's the basics of this game. Yeah, it is a driving game. I made a driving game called Drive. She said, "For it for our flashbook, it was based off of this." And um, it looks like a lot you like this, but you but you tried to finish levels. And Drive, she said, I think is my um, reference to a um, a song by. Uh, the guys who did Mexican radio. What no, am I thinking? No, no, Stan, it's Stan Ridgeway. Oh, it's just Stan Ridgeway. Did she drive? She said, "Yeah." Anyway, um, yeah, it, it was Stan Ridgeway who was who was in Wall of the Doom. Yeah, but it was his, it was uh, his solo song. I don't know. If I'm anyway, in Drive, she said, "You pick up heart." Oh, C. Oh, I, that. Now I meant to. Went oh, to, okay. Uh, I speed up. The, to, um, there's three gears, I guess, and this is the top gear. That's pretty cool, though. It's easy to play with the, with the um, keyboard. I kind of want to try again now. That Go ahead, yeah, play again. To... This is actually the most interesting game so far because you can actually one player can play it without without someone banging into things. I think you got to keep it in this top key. 
I can't even run the flash player on my machine anymore to, to even demonstrate the engine I made out of this first. I don't think. Uh, well, you can download. You can still download an old. I have the player on on my desktop. I think it it wants to just to stop it from working. I may show that in a second because if I can get it to work, because it's basically this it's basically this game without any collision detection. I don't know what a perfect time to do it. So this is. Superbug has Steve driving around. Of, Why am I of, doing worse now than I did? Like I, I was really excited. Before, I was like, I because control. you were going slow before. So Steve is demonstrating how the faster you go, the more speed you have, the more accident prone you are and why you should keep your speed low when you're in residential areas. Right, Steve? Oh, yeah. Uh, Come, it feels like I'm driving backwards. Yeah, because it looks like you're driving backwards because the because the bug has that th has its thing in the front. Yeah. So a, a a Volkswagen Beetle has its trunk in the front, and so it looks like yeah. That's the little wavy, wavy lines here. Ah. Uh, uh. It's a cool scrolling game, though. I mean, if you Mason, keep that up for a little bit. I'm just going to see if I can out. Go ahead and play again, and I'm going to see while you're doing that if I can find a version of my. Oh, I want to try a different game. Eight way play. scrolling that works. Go ahead, play Another a different game. Very early game. Play an early um, game, yeah. That would have been about the same time, not the sports game. So. That wasn't fun. Oh, Dominoes. Dominoes we should play. Multiplayer. I'm hosting a Dominoes game. We're going to come in. If you're there. Yeah, let's play Dominoes. Um, hold on one second. You know what Dominoes is? is Dominoes is basically surround. Oh, it is? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. There's a Dominoes game coming up. Joining Dominoes. Yeah. Okay. Two player. Hopefully this works. Oh man, what am I doing? You gotta Wait. use the keyboard. Hold on a second. Am I the which player am I? You're oh, white. I'm not white. You're okay. White. Oh my so god, Domino's is, is surround. Domino's is surround. It's surround. I said that. It's like I know you said that, but I'm just. I, it, it's cool because it's surrounded on a, on a little bit higher a resolution screen than the Atari 8 bit. Yeah. I mean, Atari 8 bit than the Atari 2600, so you get more space to play in. Plus, I like the your. Isn't it cool? It's cool when that when you when you hit the dominoes all fall down, which is hilarious. Yeah. I think you have this one one just because. Well, let's see. Okay. I don't think so. You totally oh, could have gotten only one. because I did something. Oh man, that is sweet to have the dominoes all fall down. That's right. I like yeah, this. Yeah. This is fun. I've never actually played this till today. I've never Me either. I've never played this either, which is really cool. That's a cool effect. So Domino's um, for the very quickly for the podcast version. Domino's is basically surround, except for when you get when you get knocked, oh, no. it, it leaves a trail of dominoes behind you, in the same perspective as surround. And when you do, when you crash, it knocks down all your dominoes. That's that little noise. At, in a little, it's neat. Like that. If someone had made dominoes, I mean, oh, I just <laughs> swung back on myself there. Either I win after this one, or you, or 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 we keep going because you win. Oh, I see. I'm playing it's, to it's, five. Let's play to five. Okay, I'm playing to five. I guess that maybe there probably is something that it. Oh no, because we. Yeah, probably is some. This is a really long game. If you... yeah. I, I was trying to tur quickly turn in surround. You can actually do that turn, but um, okay, so. Well, that's it. It only goes up to five. Yeah. Okay, so that was cool. Where let me share my screen with it doesn't need any sound. Um, because there's no sound in it. I'll share when I was originally this the date on this is 9 26 2008. And this was when uh -huh. I was when I was trying to figure out how to do um scrolling 
on in oh yeah action you, script you, you kind of stole the graphic super bug wait didn't 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 wasn't there a time when marty asked us if we wanted to try to remake some yeah. of these games um for, for there is a remake of super bug and it's pixel perfect i didn't do that this wouldn't have been one of them or but might have been we had talked about because I had I had talked about doing Av- Avalanche and you would pick Superbug, and Whoa, it was this project that a, that Atari had to redo all their games in Flash right. back in like 2000, and um and we we did some little tests, but it wasn't going to work out for us. So this one is just a scrolling world where the world is these tiny little 16 by 16 tiles, and so that's all it is. So anyway, it's basically I use Superbug as the um as uh, the uh, the inspiration for that eight ways that the eight way scrolling world cool so that is the end of the video content for season four episode one um next time we'll have more games to go through in this format and we also have we'll have more um content for this one in the podcast version which is in all your podcatchers right now and is also linked yeah, and it sort of is a catch up from uh, everything that happened after. Yes, so last. it's a, what's in there is a catch up from December until now, where we discuss uh, some Christmas items and some other things. Um, and but we've uh, decided the season to do to play games, so that's play what we games doing. and do some programming stuff. We can just we can uh, we're gonna do a video where we can we can show off things we've been working on. We can show off games we've been playing, Atari games through all the Atari systems, even some other systems like the Apple II, possibly ColecoVision, games yep. that we played when we were kids. And that things from right. the vertical blank. Yep. All the way up to what machine, Steve? The 386DX40. All the way up to the 386DX40. We're and one thing to... I'm playing right now what? on my on on that, on that my Pi 400, what? as a little download, Dune 2. Oh man, that's awesome. I am House of Atreides all the way. <laughs> okay, cool. so until next time, Steve, into, into the vertical the, blank. Into the vertical blank. Say that one more time. Into please the, the vertical crap. Into, the, into vertical the vertical blank. Into the vertical blank. Bit Rocket Studios production.